Here's another one of those easy to build small stairways, and I'm not about to suggest it's going to be easy for everyone. However, I will offer to provide step-by-step -step instructions if I get at least 30 requests in the comment area. If not, then it's pretty straightforward. And if you don't like this one, I have a few more. I have a playlist you can check out, or I will put a link in the video description box to our website where you can check out some of the other ones also. So you can nail all of these boards together or use screws or even bolt them together. But I would definitely recommend making connections at all of the points that I have on this side right here. And of course, this method of assembly right here can be used on the other side also. So I'm only going to provide you with details on this side. And in this example, I'm using two by fours for all of these pieces here and two by twelves for our steps. And this model here has a seven and a half inch rise. And I would recommend using some type of galvanized or zinc coated or even stainless steel fasteners. And to calculate the length of this board here, you will simply subtract the thickness of the tread from the length of the riser. An inch and a half thick tread. We've got seven and a half inch risers. This board is going to be six inches. And you can just simply measure the distance from here to here and then use that measurement to add the individual height of your risers to the next boards until you reach the top. Next up, let's take a look at it from the lower section here and then swing around to the other side. And we will be installing two braces, one at the bottom here and then one at an angle. And this can go in either direction or you can cover the back with a piece of plywood. And I have more examples of that in some of our other videos. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check out a few of those different designs so you can pick up a few more tips and maybe even some of the benefits and disadvantages on some of the methods and products used. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, hey, this all has to be built out of pressure treated lumber. And I don't necessarily agree with that all the time, but I will leave that up to you. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up here. And like I said, if you want step-by-step -step instructions, then make sure you let us know in the comment area. And thanks for watching. To learn more about home building and repairs, visit us at our website. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. See you next time.